from smart telescopes to great technology that help us take amazing images from our backyards. Do you know what a meridian flip is and when you have to use it? When you're gazing at the stars, your telescope tracks the sky. But as the Earth rotates, your telescope can hit its mount if it keeps following the same path. That's where the meridian flip comes in. A meridian flip is like telling your telescope to do a quick 180. It switches sides to keep tracking smoothly without any unwanted collisions. So when do you do it? When your target crosses the imaginary line in the sky called the meridian. So where is the meridian? The meridian line, also known as the prime meridian, is an imaginary line that runs from the North Pole to the South Pole. It splits the Earth into the Eastern and Western hemispheres. But why is it important? Well, it helps us measure time and distance. The prime meridian is set at zero degrees longitude and passes through Greenwich, England. This line is crucial for navigation and global positioning systems, or GPS. Without it, we'd have a tough time figuring out where we are or when it is. Now we have great imaging softwares for astrophotography, such as NINA and Sequence Generator that can tell us exactly when that meridian flip is going to happen. And just a few days ago, I was photographing the Pelican Nebula. Pelican Nebula is now located in the northeast part of the sky, very close to the Neb, the brightest star in the Cygnus constellation. This is a beautiful area with lots of hydrogen alpha reddish colors, and I was able to find it pretty quick, plate solve, and frame it in a beautiful way using the big two stars next to it as a guide. There are several imaging softwares that help you in the process of the meridian flip, from manually setting it up to automatic meridian flip, but it's not that simple. Ah, this is the countdown, one minute and 47 seconds, and <laughs> this telescope rotate completely to the other side and then probably the image is going to be uh, flipped too so we're going to see it a little bit a little bit different and then it's going to uh, do the flip it's going to recenter it's going to select a new guide star it's going to resume the outer guider then it's going to settle for a little bit it lets uh, everything to kind of like the telescope to get stabilized and all of that. And then they rotate the image after the flip. So it will rotate the image. And the other night was perfect. We'll see tonight, 55 seconds. I have a second camera here, 42 seconds. Oh my God, I am so nervous. This is some, <laughs> this is, uh, this is a very exciting moment. It took me a long time to figure this out. Uh, not that easy. There's a lot of settings that you have to do. 25 seconds. So here we go. Four, five, three, two, one, go. Oh my God, I hope it doesn't. In you know, with the spaghetti bowl of cables that I have right now, because I haven't been able to do the cable management this summer, uh, but I will do it soon. <laughs> I have to do all kind of things. But how exciting this is! Uh, so exciting! Oh my god! Okay, let's see. Keep going, my beautiful. Keep going. Maybe sure. Oh, there's a cable here. And this is the problem of not having the cables properly tight right now, but that's for another day and another video. Okay, so now let's see. It's going to uh, settle for, it was 15 seconds. We should start seeing an image soon. And then hopefully we're going to see those two 
stars again. So it's taking the exposure and it should be with the luminance filter and the telescope not inside tolerance, sink in the scope, that's normal. Come on, I wanna see the image. <laughs> this is the Pelican Nebula. Okay, it's it's moving, it's trying to find that target again. Oh my god. This from my backyard. <laughs> This is very exciting. Okay, exposing. Come on, give me a photo. Give me one. Let me just move that light because this uh, Newtonian telescope, the back part, it's like it's clear, so it gets all the light. And I have some lights here, which I normally don't, but it's the only way to record. See? Okay, start guiding. <laughs> okay, now another 15 seconds. It's trying to settle everything, but I am moving too, so I'm going to try to stay still. <laughs> and there it is I mean that's it that's the two stars right there and it was perfect beautiful this is so beautiful the meridian flip oh my god this is the most exciting in my opinion I love the meridian flip okay so now um, let me check here real quick but I need to leave the sky dome. So I'm going to have a few uh, images that are not going to uh, be good. And this is the uh, sulfur uh, filter. So I should probably, I'm going to add like five more. So let me just put 38 images because I'm going to lose images here. With, with all the movement so okay let me just go back here but this is our two stars so we're right on very good so um i think it's time for me to turn off cameras and light yes the meridian flip well thank you for watching See you next week with another adventure of your favorite astronaut.